rest of Mods Nation got another awesome custom build for you here. This is a 1968 Chevy C10 that belongs to our friend Manny here. I love old school patina trucks like this. Uh, Manny, tell me a little bit about the beginnings of this truck for you and, and what you've done to it since then. Yeah, for sure. So this was a uh, custom frame off build, believe it or not, um, from Tucson, Arizona. This gentleman that I came across on IG, of course, everything starts on IG, right? And uh, we became friends. I messaged him, made the deal. I purchased it from him. And since then, I haven't done much to it except for what stands out the most, which is the clear. Um, hooked up with a company called Poppy's Patina, and they were able to create this amazing product that's an acrylic clear coat that covers it. Um, then I've done the Magnaflow exhaust. Obviously, Phytech takes care of me with their products. And uh, the interior just did a couple things. Everything has been completely redone from ground up on this truck. So the neatest part about it is you walk up to you like, man, it looks all beat up, rusty. And you start looking underneath and everything's been touched. The frame is completely custom built, painted, powder coated. It's, uh, it's a nice build and it's fun to drive. It's a lot of fun, especially being on bags. Yeah, I did notice uh, when you first rolled in and you uh, dropped it down really low, how yeah, it yeah. is now. And then, so tell me about the power plant and kind of uh, what you're running right now under the hood. So here she is. It's a 383 Blueprint stroker motor. It's pushing about 407 to the tire, something high force to the crank. It has the uh, Phytech EFI on it. So it's, uh, it's, it's like running a modern car, right? You don't have those cold starts in the morning. It doesn't matter if you're driving it by the beach or in the mountains, it does really well. It has tubular control arms. Like I said, it's uh, bagged. It has AccuAir for the air management system. Oversized radiator, so it stays nice and cool. Never goes over 180, which is amazing. Wow. And uh, for braking power, I have Willwood brakes all the way around and they're manual brakes. So it's a little bit more control. It's a little bit more of a stiffer brake, but you definitely uh, control how much pressure you're putting on it. So. Right, that's awesome, man. So in addition to the airbags, what kind of suspension are you running? So the tubular control arms is CPP, and the rear is by Jason Thorbeck. He builds these fully notched systems. Amazing work. I mean, everybody always asks me, where do you get that setup from with the bags and the tank and everything in the rear, so. That's awesome, man. And then how about the, uh Dude, the, wheel, the wheels and tires on the bags, your tires are literally to the hood. That's crazy. Yeah, you can slide a business card through it and that's about it, but it's, <laughs> it's tight, man. Yeah, uh, and then so how about the wheels that you're running? What kind of, uh, so these are US mags. Yeah, US mags, um, I, I love the way they look. I've seen these before on other vehicles, but the way they look on this truck, it just, it's just perfect, man. I really love the, the, the cut and the feel of it. They, they ride great. Uh, for tires, I'm using Falcons. Okay. So they, they like to smoke really well, as you guys will probably see. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interior because you did say you've uh, reupholstered some stuff in here. So are these the original seats? No, so these are uh, these are all aftermarket seats. When I originally purchased the truck, it came with um, these bucket seats, but they're wrapped in a Mexican blanket. He was going for that like rustic look, but everything inside is painted, it's done. So I'm like, look, we have to do everything that just matches just right. So I went to an upholstery shop that I've worked with since I was 16 years old, and they took care of me, matched the stitching, the pattern, the width of the diamond cut, and uh, it came out amazing. So it matches the center console, matches the floor, matches actually the door panels that are uh, stamped metal and it just, it looks so nice. Awesome, man. I love the uh, the piston grip shifter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> that is a cool touch and it, and it drops right into the center console. So just, when you yeah. shift, it just drops right in. And then you have the Acura on the left and then you have the JL Audio Bluetooth uh, stereo. Yeah, everything's just easily controllable from uh, from the center. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, super clean, super crisp. Everything's really tight. And uh, yeah, man, Sean, gentleman that built it, did a really, really nice job. So shout out to Sean. The back here is probably the biggest giveaway that this is a really, really custom tricked out truck. Yeah. Um, tell me about like every, from the front to back, what we have going here. Yeah, so, and that's the coolest part, I think, when you see it at a car show or it's parked, everybody's like, why is it parked next to all these really nice cars? And they come to it and they're like, wait, this doesn't look right. So um, it has a uh, three link suspension for the rear, I'm sorry, four link suspension for the rear, has a, obviously the two Optima batteries up front. The gentleman that built it was actually a, um, a contractor for American Auto Wire. So the electrical work is, it's, it's perfection. So you can see everything's really tight. He ran some of the electrical line and some of the air lines through the notched frame. Uh, this notched frame is uh, built by Jason Thorbeck. 
has via air air pumps, tank, um, and then everything's just really exposed. It's really nice. He built this uh, really cool wood panel in the back so you can maybe put an ice chest and some some chairs and that's all you need for a car show. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely, it's definitely a driver. And you can see where the uh, four link was powder coated, painted, and the frame is as well. Awesome, man. Well, I think obviously the next thing we have to do is let everyone hear this beast. Yeah, for sure. And crank her up. Absolutely. Sounds amazing. I think what we should do now is throw our cameraman in the passenger seat. Yeah. Maybe do a little rip. There you go. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Take him for a little ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Well, thank you so much, Manny, for showing us your C10 today. It's an amazing truck, dude. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you never miss an awesome feature like Manny's truck. And as always, you guys, keep cruising.